Palmyra D, the new Stasis Hake rocket launcher, can roll some interesting perks, namely the combo of autoloading holster and explosive light. The question you're probably asking yourself is, how does it compare to the other rockets I have hoarded in my vault? Or alternatively, should I craft it with enhanced autoloading holster? To which I would reply, no. I'd like to knock one thing out of the way first, and that's comparing the different damage perks that you can get on an autoloading rocket. These rolls include Lasting Impression, Vorpal Weapon, Frenzy, and Explosive Light. There's also Adrenaline Junkie, but that requires kills and will not be sustainable for a damage phase. For testing's sake, I've taken off impact casing on all my rockets to make sure they're as equal as possible, but you should keep in mind that different subfamilies of rockets do different damage, so here's a reminder of what those numbers are. I'll start off with my aggressive frame He's in Vengeance with Vorpal Weapon, and I get 33,952 damage. For Frenzy, I have a Precision Frame Palmyra D, which although it is in the worst rocket subfamily, it does 34,716. When it comes to Lasting Impression, I have an Aggressive Frame he's in, which again is doing 10% more than Palmyra D just based on its archetype alone, and it gets 36,803. And the last useful damage perk, Explosive Light. I'll use my Palmyra D again, and it does 37,686. At first look, it appears Explosive Light is the superior perk on an autoloading rocket, but you'd be quick to point out that Explosive Light only lasts for the first 6 shots, meaning its damage will fall off compared to that of Lasting Impression after that. I'd counter this by saying that Explosive Light is better, because if you have any sort of build whatsoever, getting 6 orbs before damage phase is a non-factor, and during damage phase, you're very likely to pick up orbs from your teammate's supers, giving you Explosive Light for all 9 rockets. An even better defense for Explosive Light is when it's in the hands of a skilled fire team, that slight difference between it and Lasting Impression is what makes boss speed kill so fast, and it's why they use Explosive Light to begin with. Not to mention the detonation for a Lasting Impression rocket takes over 2 seconds to actually go off. Now the majority of players aren't the ones that are pressing 17 buttons a second and smoking crack to get the world's fastest sanctified mind kill. You want to know what rocket you should be using for boss damage. Well, there's two types of people, I think. Number one is the person who uses only their rocket. No special, just heavy spam. In this case, that person's going to slap on a field prep clan cartridge hothead. This roll is going to do the most damage the quickest. Number two is the person who's looking for an autoloading roll so that they can damage the boss with something else in between, whether it be a Zanagi, Weather Horde, or a GL. This person is going to want to look for that autoloading explosive light Palmyra D. Personally, my day one team will be taking in both rockets. If a boss allows us to devote two slots to boss damage, then Izanagi and an autoloading explosive is definitely the play. And if you really can only spare your heavy for damage, then a clown cartridge rocket is going to be your best friend, with a regular explosive light rocket coming in at a close second. 